I look over and I'm like, oh, this guy has like, gray hair, like that's my client, not the people I was talking to at yeah. the event. And I'm like, look, well, what kind of car is this? I'm like, it's an Acura. I'm like, okay, cool. Nice I was car, like, yeah. I look back at this guy, I'm like, I know, I know him. That's Wolf Blitzer. So I was just like, hey, 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 hi, I'm John. Uh, here's my card. And I couldn't quite reach, so I put my car in park and I started to get out. And he was like, be careful. And I was like, hey, okay, I am being careful. There you go, here's my card. I'd like to do your headshot. Yeah, so yeah. I, did, uh, I did meet Wolf Blitzer on the way back. <laughs>
commenting helpfully on other people's posts. So creating content, checking it, messaging people, meeting new people, researching people. Yeah. Um, if you're not doing some of that, you're not really active. Like yeah. LinkedIn has changed. It's yeah. a social platform. I, I, I believe that it's now the most organic, especially if people have limited paid budgets, it's the most where you can get the most organic reach and create the most actual deep connection, especially in that professional world. Um, so another good antidote, and, and when, when I approached you about being in this series, and you allude to that you, how you got your, one of your first clients, was, and it was kind of through LinkedIn, but it wasn't through somebody finding you, it was you doing a little bit of, right. of research. So how's LinkedIn help you, and then tell us that story. I tried, uh, I tried Sales Navigator, and I did get this while I was using Sales Navigator, which yeah. is the platform that uh, basically restores the ability to really search that used to be <laughs> included, as I understand it. Um, but I think I could have done it without it. Um, okay. But it involves actually using the data of LinkedIn to find the people you need to talk to. So okay. I actually got a very big client, uh, Deloitte, um, through LinkedIn. I, I found the chief marketing officer for Deloitte Risk. And did you know that going in? You're like, here's some companies I'm targeting, and I'm going to go just I'm going to go for the big fish. Um, Deloitte has always kind of stood out to me. I saw the chief marketing officer. I was searching for chief marketing officers, and I was like, oh, here's Deloitte. So connected with her. Um, what did you say? Send I a little said, I, DM? I talked, yeah, I, uh, you can always connect and add a note. Yep, and that's, free. I think that's a big yeah. tip. Yep. So that's what I did, and I said, I'm a headshot photographer, uh, here's my website, I'd like to work with Deloitte. I'd like to give you a free headshot, because I think Great. I'm different than other headshot photographers. I think you will be impressed. Yeah. So give me that chance, if you would, and then maybe we can do business together. It wasn't just like, here's a free headshot, it's like, yeah. This is a trial run. Yep. And, and what did she that lead to? eventually accepted. Okay. And then I messaged her again, and she didn't respond. And I emailed her, because then I had her and email address. Yep. And then she, uh, I got a message from her chief of staff. And we set up 10 minutes. I spent 10 minutes with her. The chief of staff said she liked you. They invited me to go down, pay me to go down to Charlotte, North Carolina, and shoot 42 of their leaders at a retreat. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. And, and, and was that one of your first big, uh, I guess, wins when you went out on your own fishing? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It was and in she March. Come, did she I come here? Did you go to, to their office? I went to their office. And so you knew you Arlington. needed, as a big, important person, you had to get in and out. Like, yeah. 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 I set up. I was early. Yeah. She was late. Yeah. I was like, that's cool. Yeah. That's OK. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. And then 10 minutes, she was like, I got to go. Yeah. But this is good. Yeah. So it was all through LinkedIn. Yeah. Is there certain type of content or certain types of stories or, or, or things you're putting out there that you feel the LinkedIn or at least your LinkedIn community uh, is viewing, watching, engaging with more than others? Or is it just like, I've kind of like what are you testing? I, I think I've been using LinkedIn well, but I have struggled actually with what content to put out. Like what I think I should be doing is spending a lot of time reading about branding or something related to headshots. It's hard to give advice on headshots. Like, when I help people, it's because they're in front of me and I can tell them what yeah. to do now yeah. and then take their picture. So I, that's like ideally, I'd like to be a branding expert and offer branding advice that's valuable yep. and then get people in for yeah. headshot. Because I think but, the headshot is like one part of that dimension, right? right? Yeah. But what yeah. I've actually been doing is kind of just sharing my story, sharing thoughts, stuff along that lines of yeah. like, using your time well or like the way I organize my to-do list and my schedule for each day that helps me get more done. Yeah. Um, sharing, you know, it's a small business. Like yeah. people wouldn't believe me if I'm like, I started in March, everything's awesome. I'm just, the money is just rolling right. in. I'm just, we wish it was that easy. I work yeah. three hours a week and it's, <laughs> it's awesome. You yes. know, so yeah. I don't mind, like I shared that I was fired from my job. Wow. I went full time the day I got fired from my job in politics. I was just, I was tired of it anyway. Yeah, yeah. And they let me go, and so I shared it. I think that day or the next morning. Yeah. It's like I got fired. Here's what I'm doing. Yeah, you're vulnerable. I want to make it a good story, basically. Yeah. yeah. So, what are some tips or tricks? I notice, obviously, in, in, in any platform, captioning is big, hashtags, things like that. Like, what are some some tips or tricks other people? So again, whether they're a creative, a solopreneur, or, or they're they're working for a nonprofit or something, and they want to be on LinkedIn. What are some actual tips and tricks that you're noticing that, hey, when you're posting times of day, all these other things, like what are some things you're noticing that you um, recommend? Well, you need an optimized profile. So um, what does that mean? That includes a headshot, but it's like the, ta the <laughs> tagline. <laughs> yeah, the tagline is important. It's meant to be what you do. And those it's are like not, the first like five or six words that they're going to see. Right. So um, I was playing around with that, like your first impression is super important, blah, blah, blah. 
that's not what it's used for and actually it's involved with searching. So people will be able to find you better if they have seen you, like yeah. who's that headshot photographer? They're not gonna search, your first impression is very important. And no. they, so that's what that's for. Uh, I think it's important to showcase your work on your profile, have a good summary about what you do, mm -hmm. some of your success, depending on what you're, uh, what you're doing. Um, for me, I have pictures up there. Um, and then it's important to have a full profile, tell them where we went to school, to yeah. fill it out. Yeah. Um, you never know who's gonna have a point of connection with yeah something like that. Um, what about the actual content? Right. Things that you're doing. Um, yeah. The videos like the Clips app or Clipomatic. I think Clipomatic is five bucks. I haven't, I haven't okay. gone for that yet. Clips is fine. It allows you to put captions on your videos um, pretty easily. It reads, it, it hears what you say and it, it types it out. And you can do that all from your phone pretty much. Right. Okay. It's 95% accurate. That, okay. You can review the text and make little changes if okay. you want, um, but it gets it pretty right. That's great. Um, and then I think you just have to feel it out. Like what you want to write about isn't necessarily what people want to hear, like what will engage them. Yeah. Um, I have tried to strike a balance between, yes, talking about headshots yep. uh, because that's what I'm involved with. Yep, that's yep. what I do. But I think if I wrote about headshots, 24 so, 7 yeah, like it, all right we get it, it john yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 and i think that's we, why that's why we're sitting here today because you have a really good balance of, of your, your of who you are as a creative and, and what you're doing so, so i'm kind of taking on like a, i'm a small business owner yeah. i'm learning things and implementing things in my business that are helping me yeah. um that can be applied everywhere um i've been thinking that i should probably talk more about being a dad and a husband as and balancing as, all this yeah. i actually Literally last night, as I'm as I'm researching a little bit more about you, I, I didn't know that you had a, a baby girl, a little girl. So that and she's made appearances, <laughs> but it's not the. I mean, I noticed that you did a, a you and your wife did a, a headshot photography session with her, but yeah. like, uh, I didn't really realize that, and that's even just more kind of commendable and, and just very like inspiring, to be honest. Yeah. So, and I think that could, probably could relate to a lot. That would relate to me. It is relating to me. So, yeah. um, so other things that you're noticing. Um, do you, do you have you created habits for yourself like hey every Monday I'm gonna post this type of content or on Tuesdays I'm gonna do a video or is it more just kind of spur of the moment like is there any strategy involved in I this? had uh, I, I was posting most days and um, I went on a video spree where I was just doing one two-minute videos all the time it's more uh, spur of the moment I've veered away from the social content okay. and more started using it as a tool a lot more happens in messaging people than on comments. Yeah. Um, so I've, I've toned it down. Um, I'm posting maybe once a week and it's kind of whenever something hits me. Gotcha. Um, but yeah. I'm trying, it's important to follow up on the content. If you, it's a social platform. If you it's were in a group, a group of yeah. five people you yeah. just met, yeah. two you knew, three you didn't or something. Mm -hmm. and. Yeah you said something and someone said, oh, that's very interesting, I do that too. Like, yeah. you wouldn't ignore them, you would engage them. And I exactly. think it's important to look at who's liking your videos, who's commenting what they're saying, engage yeah. with them, yeah. connect with them, tell them just, hey, I think I appreciated your like. Yeah. Um, I'd, I'd like to connect and see your content in my feed. Yeah. Um, and sometimes they respond and say like, I actually need a headshot. Yep. Um, and, th there are, and I think it's always gonna be top of mind, like whether, um, whether they need, they know, or, or they want a headshot now or not, like, but like a year from now they get a new job, right? And they're, or they're going for a new job, they're, you're yeah. going to be the first thing they think of, or when they, they see you again in, in the LinkedIn feed, they're like, oh yeah, I do need to get back in touch with John, like he's the guy. I count it as a win if I yeah. get to actually yeah. know people. If you were talking to, again, a dentist, a lawyer, or, or another person, that it's similar in our situation where we work for ourselves, what should they start doing on LinkedIn? I think you just Two need or to, three things. You need to take it seriously, get your profile in order, I think you need to create content. Some, some people need to get to so know what, you. So like what would it. be an idea? Like, give me something really specific. Um, um, even I would start out with your specialty. You, you know, you don't have to just be like, "Hey, yeah. I'm I'm a dad," and blah blah blah. Yeah. You can say what you do. Introduce yeah. yourself yeah. as the professional that you are. Yep. Um, be active. If people message you and you reply a week later, it's just you know, it's it's it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you got to be present. Um, and just engage with your so engage with comments of other people's posts right. people that post on your content look 
find people. Yeah. Find people yeah. that you think are ideal clients. I think that's a great thing that people don't realize. You know, Instagram and Twitter search is great for, for some industries and some people, but link, you can do a lot with LinkedIn searches. And people have their yeah. job titles yeah. Yeah. on and there. And you can find the people you want to talk <laughs> yeah. to uh, or jump into the conversation. I think, but some of that works for a larger organization. What should they be doing on LinkedIn, whether it's for their own professional brand or to help market their, their actual larger business? What could they I think doing? it's fundamentally the same. Yeah. You are always, you are you, and you need to market yourself if you're, um, you need new clients mm -hmm. or you want to move up in the company. You need to let people know who you are. You need to present yourself well. And you, the more people you know, the better. Yeah. If you're working for a big company and you're a successful mid-level person, um, there are recruiters who will be calling you if mm -hmm. they're they're impressed with you um, and Recruiters are very active on LinkedIn. Yeah. Recruiters aren't looking for you on Instagram. No, well, definitely not. <laughs> I think LinkedIn, if you are there, you're it's, you're it's a great platform and this is kind of what I want to say is Within your space, right? So you're you're creative you're a photographer your per, your personal branding There's a lot of different adjacent industries, but uh, I think the great thing with LinkedIn is, is say like right now we check our phones and there's some type of news that drops in your space, a new trend, a new app, a, a, a new buyout from a company, like you should be on LinkedIn and kind of giving your two cents, right? And I think that's where the engagement comes from and that's where you can be seen as an expert, right? I think that's or a great idea. Leader. I haven't been doing that yeah. actually, but that's, but, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, other, the other last thing I always love to cover is and you and I talked about this a little bit off camera, but and, and I think you and I can relate is, is starting your own business is tough uh, in a lot of ways, but specifically financially, you need to every dollar you have needs to work for you, right? So, to the people out there that are like, well, okay, LinkedIn is great. So wait, you told me I need to be on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, but now you're telling me LinkedIn. Do you need a lot of money? And if if so, or if you had a couple hundred bucks, like what would you do with LinkedIn um, to just you know get the most, be the most efficient and maximize? your voice and your story. I don't think you need a lot of money. Um, I have spent zero money on LinkedIn. That's awesome. Um, I don't think that the value of the ads is where your money is yeah, best spent. I agree. So I spend it on Google ads and a little bit on Facebook. Facebook yeah. is like retargeting yeah. people who have been on my website yeah. and uh, Google is to, so when they type in DC headshots that mm -hmm. I'm there even though my SEO isn't up to yeah. snuff yet. And so kind of what we talked about in the beginning of this conversation is LinkedIn is super organic. You don't, I've noticed running ads for other clients like uh, on LinkedIn specifically, the, the, the CPMs and the click-through rates, they're triple than what you're getting on Facebook or Twitter or other platforms. So it's, it's a little bit of wasting your money. That's, that's, my, that's my opinion. I would say just so. quickly take advantage of a LinkedIn local if it's in your area. It's huge. Yeah. Um, and uh, you get to know people who are active on LinkedIn, which yeah. means that when you friend them, or you connect with them, yeah. they're going to be seeing your content, engaging with your content. It's going to spread mm -hmm. to their friends. It's, it's a great thing. Yeah. And uh, you might even be noticed. Yeah. Uh, at link, I've had this happen. Like, oh, you're that headshot guy. I've yeah. never seen this person's profile, but they know who I am. Actually. That's awesome. Yeah. Feel famous. <laughs> and the last, one of the last questions I have for you, John, is can you think back in the last six to eight months of you done doing this full time? Because I, I love this, seeing the success of, of where this is going for you. But has there been a piece of content that you would deem viral or, or had higher engagement or, or is there a piece of content that stuck or, or that you thought did well? I think, uh, I think still the, uh, the most viral post I did was on uh, President Trump's new, new portrait, which was horrible. Um, so uh, I forget exactly what I said about it. I, did you do a I, video or you did a, you did a written post? I just post? posted the picture and I just wrote about confidence and approachability and just general lighting, which was really bad. I reached out to the White House, but uh, <laughs> the person I know there, um, he's friends with the photographer, yeah, so yeah. I didn't get that. So that, that, that could be a great little like monthly or weekly uh, piece of, you know, a, a series of content of like you're just reviewing famous people or like, like critiquing good or bad, maybe bad, so you're, like maybe that's a little thing, like a, a critique of the week. Could be, yeah. Uh, and because and, I think, you know, if somebody sees a picture of Kim Kardashian or, Kanye West or, or, or uh, LeBron James, and you're critiquing their headshot. That's another uh, good idea. Yeah, and then all, because that'll be, you know, but maybe that's more for Facebook or Instagram, but I don't know. It could work on LinkedIn. So, cool. Uh, and then uh, I guess there's another similar question to people out there watching. Uh, if you could summarize in two or three bullet points, what, if they're like, all right, I've been watching this, uh, I haven't been on LinkedIn, but all right, John and Kevin said I need to do it. What should be the first three things they do? So, um, there are lots of good guides about how to set up your profile um, effectively. Um, I would say 
see who's active that you already know. And see what they're doing. See what they're doing. Okay. So um, seek inspiration. And then uh, just start reaching out to people. Like you don't need to have like a backlog of content to reach out to someone and introduce yourself. Yeah. It's just, just treat it as a networking event. Uh, LinkedIn says like you shouldn't connect with people you don't know, but yeah. you should. <laughs> and add that personal note because I think yeah, if right. people just get in, and if you do, if you go on a spree of like connect, 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 but if you add just that little personal note of why you're reaching out, I mostly and, ignore those. Yeah, and it doesn't even have to be a, a, a transaction. Say, hey, I'm I'm in the same space. I, I love what you're doing, or I'd love to connect you. Or, hey, I noticed you're in DC too. I'm in DC. Like just exactly. I think adding that personal note uh, helps, you know, make that acceptance a little bit better. Yeah, so, yeah. exactly. Cool. Anything else you want to share, John? Um, once, of, once you get going on LinkedIn and you develop a network of people you've connected with, not just connected with, but actually talked to, mm -hmm. you can download all the email addresses. And I just send out a yearly email now to everyone just saying, like, this is, you're not on a list. I'm just sending a once a year email. Really? Um, I did not know that. And then I got that. replies from people I hadn't heard from in a while. And that's cool. That's good. So you can have your built in newsletter right there. Yeah. It, it takes commitment. It's, yeah. it's not a short-term thing. Nope. You're not going to have twice as much business in a month, no. probably. No. But um, it's has, it, has it helped, though? Has it helped your, your business in some capacity? Because I know you're doing a lot of has. different things. Yeah. Um, I got Deloitte. I've gotten several individuals. I've made good friends. Yep. Um, I go to LinkedIn Locals now, and I have, like, the CEO of Make Offices is, like, telling me, oh, you got to meet John. John did my headshot, and, you know. I've been following that. Yeah. 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 So, um it's valuable. It's meeting people. Like I know there are, there are half a million people in DC. Yep. A large number of them are very interesting and accomplished people. And uh, in the beginning, I was like, I know like 50 of them. <laughs> like I can do better yep. than this. So um, people are interesting. They have good stories. They have valuable input. They will help you if you're kind and reach out. Yeah. yeah. And I think that completely uh, uh, shines through your, your LinkedIn profile. So I'd recommend anybody out there uh, to look up John Meadows yeah. on LinkedIn because honestly, I was searching on Instagram. I couldn't find you. Yeah. So I'm not um, too active. So there. yeah, on LinkedIn. Is where Taking it one social yeah. media platform yeah. at a time. Um, any um, last shout out of, of where we are, what you're doing, what you're up to, how people can find out about you? Um, I'm John Meadows. I'm a headshot photographer and expression coach here at High End Headshots in Washington, D.C. My studio is right on e in Eastern Market, just blocks from the blue, orange, and silver. And he also travels because I know she's like a couple months ago between New York and New Jersey yeah. and stuff. So yeah, he'll come to you. Yeah. So. I, uh, I announce where I'm traveling cool. and I shoot there. Cool. Yeah. John, thanks for doing this series with us and sitting down with us. Yeah, thank pleasure. you. I really appreciate it. Looking forward to it.